I'm late. I'm late. A very important date. Oh, uh, hey everybody! Happy Thursday. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit on our lighthouse tonight, and I know a couple people have been wanting to see it. Our terracotta pottery uh, lighthouse, and so I'm gonna give everybody just a minute to jump on. Hey, Mary Flynn. Um, and I'll show you the things I did today, which I really didn't do it. Chris did it. Um, so, and, and the next big part after doing the uh, epoxy on the bottom of the first one, and we're going to do a little craft after I do this a little bit. Hey, Helen. Hey, Peyton. Hey, Sharon. Another Sharon from Ohio. Okay. Oh, thank you. I need, I always say I need a little water bottle. Look at Buffy got me a water bottle. Uh, hey, hello. Hello, Loretta. Loretta Weston. Uh, Carol from Utah. I'm a few minutes late, y'all. I wanted to, I had my craft and then I know y'all been wanting to see it and Chris came out and said he was done. Boring my hole a little bit bigger, so. I uh, went and grabbed the liquid nail and the stuff like that that we could do for this. So, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can turn them off on there. We're having technical problems, so when you add a guest to your broadcast, your viewers may see a different part of your camera view. I don't know what that means. Um, let's see. Hey, Lenore. Um, from West Virginia, Debbie. Okay, listen. And I hope whoever has been asking me, want to see about the lighthouse, that y'all are on there. At the end, after we do our little craft, because uh, I picked out a little one, um, since we're going to do some of this right here. Okay, let me slide my little cart over here and get this open. Okay, top of our lighthouse, we've always said it's going to be this solar light. I found this light at Walmart. It's really pretty. Um, hey, Chris, I'm going to have to tell you the measurements. Can you do me one more favor? Right here is this measuring tape. Measure this, the, the mouth, which is the bottom part of the, this thing. Measure this part of that big one on the floor. There's the tape measure right there. I told somebody I'd give on the measurements. Hey, Helen, thank you for sprinkling. Watching from Tennessee. Hey, Sam, I'm happy I can visit tonight. I'm not well. Then I got some motion sickness from watching another you know, crafters. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Shopping spree. Oh, man, darling. Okay, there's the measuring tape right there. And over here on the floor, on the other side of the couch, right on the floor, is the base. Look, try to just get from here to here. Not that the other part, but just, I mean, kind of rough it. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all the measurements on these uh, as soon as he brings me the tape with that one. It's right there on the floor. Yes. Just kind of eyeball from where you think the pot starts. Not the rim, but the other part. All right, this says shape very well. What we're gonna do is... Looks like 12. 12 inches? Okay, so hand me that tape. Tape measure, please. All right, so that one's 12 inches. On the top, on this part, you measure from here to here. Yeah, that's the part that's 12. Not, not this part that is sitting in, just the pot. Okay, well, that's all I needed then. 12 inches for the big one. And let's see what, um, oh, I don't have the middle one over there. Um, I mean, that's just eyeball. The bottom is eight inches, if that helps you. Um, will you measure, hey, look, over there on the floor in the corner, will you measure that one? See it on the floor? <laughs> yeah, I swear I'm going to get it together. Hey, Gina. Hey, Mahala. I feel like I'm listening to me talk to my husband. That's Peyton. <laughs> At the last minute, I was like, you know, I've got to do this because I forgot it's Thursday, so it's kind of like the weekend for us. Um, 
I probably will see y'all tomorrow. Maybe on Chris's parents, I can use their deck and we'll do um, a live on making a big tobacco basket, y'all. They're so fun. And as long as you have the right little clamps, it's easy. All right, what is it? It's not the same size. No, no, I know it's not. The mouth of it. Okay, this is the big one. Nine and three quarters, okay. And you're measuring this part. Okay. Nine and three quarters. All right, now I need that tape measure so I can measure this one. <laughs> no, don't throw it. <laughs> I'm so glad you're on tonight. I had a break, been sanding all day, and I told husband I will never miss your crafts. Oh my gosh, Sharon, you're so sweet. Okay, and this one looks about six and a half. All right, so the very big one that we started off with, the one that is just like this, and it's in one of these big trays, and we put the epoxy in. Chris said from here to here is 12 inches, so it's a 12-inch pot. The second one that'll be layered is 9 and 3 fourths inch. And then this one from here to here is six inches. So the way I measure it is the top, not the bottom, but the top of them, even though they're going to go upside down. Okay, the top. Um, I am going to secure this one to the middle pot, but I'm not going to secure the middle to the very bottom. It sits in there about three or four inches down on there. Um, and I don't want it be too heavy for you to move. So it, you, it'll at least be in two parts. There'll be heavy parts, but it won't be as much as one together. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Um, Chris is such a... Oh, man. Cindy said, Chris is such a good husband. Oh, they like you, Mikey. They like you. Okay. So this is the light that I picked out. It's very dirty, y'all. I've had it outside for my first thing. It's got uh, pollen all over it. But I'm going to shine it up real good for my mom. Okay, so I thought about it first. I've seen some where the pot is facing down like this at the top if you have a lip and then they put this in it. But I thought, why not turn it up like this so it's like a little walkway at the top. So just like with my other one, I'm gonna seal it up really good when I put it in here. And I'm going to put, um, epoxy in this. Number one, it'll help secure this a little bit more in there, and um, it'll make it where water can't fill up, just like with the big one, and she won't have to worry about slime and things like that outside. Um, uh, mosquitoes laying eggs in them and that kind of stuff. That's what you have to worry about in Georgia with standing water, which is probably everywhere, but, you know, mosquitoes are the death of everybody. Give those measurements again, pretty please. Okay, Debbie, the biggest one, he said, is 12 inches. The middle one is, and I don't know how they measure it at the store, but we're measuring it from the outside of the, the terracotta part. And, you know, it's about a quarter of an inch thick. So, from outside to outside on the second one is nine and three-fourths. This one was six and a half. So, the very big one was 12, nine and three-fourths. And then this one is six. It's a pretty big gap in between the big one and the middle one. But you like that because when I stack the, this one on top of the middle one, it only goes down maybe about half an inch for security, which I'm going to glue. But the middle one to the biggest one, it goes down about that much. That way it gives it that security. And, you know, so like I said, I can make two pieces for my mom. So if she ever wants to move it, they'll be heavy two pieces, but she would never be able to move it if I put it all whole. It would take two or three people. Um, um, Amy, you have not missed anything. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is secure this piece upside down on here. I mean, uh, uh, right side up. And what Chris had to do, terracotta will drill really easy. You um, get a good, you know, masonry drill bit, and it'll go through it. The pots already come with a hole, but it didn't want to come with a hole big enough for the bottom of my light. So what Chris did was he took his little Dremel saw, 
um, Dremel, whatever that little thing is, and he really just um, sanded it and made the hole bigger. Because I think if you try to drill around an already existing hole, it could have cracked the um, terracotta. So he just took his little Dremel and just kept making it bigger and bigger and bigger because I'd, I'd put measurements for it, this light to fit down in there. So now when you get these little trays, which they don't come with any holes because that's the tray you normally put under the pot to catch the water. So you've got to put a hole in this one. And all I did was take a just a plain little bit in my drill and I made a straight through hole. And just like with this one, he, he just sat there and slowly made it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and, and terracotta really um, sands and, and drills really easy. I mean, I wouldn't say take a, you know, a hammer to it, but you know, it just starts to dissolve, you know, kind of, kind of like dealing with wood, you know, it'll, um, it'll cut through really easy. You just have to go slow and take your time. And, um, so now that that's done, got your hole, got this part, I'm going to center it pretty good. Now, remember we dealt with, mama's already dealt with the E6000, not that that won't stay, but it started eating through her paint and everything. So, safest thing for you is liquid nail. You can get it in a caulk gun like this. You can get it in uh, gray, white. I think someone said once they made it a clear, but I didn't see a clear, but I'm really not worried about it because you will not see it. First, oh, hold on, let me. Dealing with a caulk gun. I'm just gonna fill this part right here up because this little, there's a little more uneven place right here. And I really don't want to get any really. Okay, so I'm going to try to level it up as best I can, and then I'm going to add some more. Now, you might as well be putting, like, forever concrete cement on this, So, because once I put this together and it cures, I would have to break it to get it apart. So, if something went wrong for what you did just go ahead and go get you two more little pots because <laughs> they are stuck together which is a good thing if you never want them to come apart i am requesting the stuff for the stuff for mother's day oh man debbie that's gonna be awesome i mean a good project and 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 besides taking it apart you really can never take it apart unless you just you know paint it and set them on top of each other which you run the risk of you know a good storm coming up and it blowing over and breaking um but um you can even though this will be a little sandy she can repaint it if in a few years she's tired of this color now, the epoxy, you know, the shells and all that on the bottom part, she's stuck with that. But maybe she wants to paint this light blue, kind of an ocean blue. You could always repaint it. You just really can't take them apart, especially if you do the things that I'm doing to it right now. And that's um, putting glue on it like it's going to hold, you know, it's the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I'm really laying the glue to it. Okay. All right, let me make sure my little hole is centered up. All right, and I smoosh it down and some of it came in here, but I'm kind of gonna just run my finger and smooth it out as best I can because number one, I don't want all that glue in there to hinder it, but I do want a little glue in there because I'm going to stick my light through it. But we're not done with it yet as far as gluing it because remember when we put the epoxy in the bottom part and you didn't want all that epoxy leaking because epoxy can find, it's like water, it can find little leaks. We're gonna go ahead and set our light down in here. That glue is gonna cure, but I'm also gonna take my hot glue gun and instead of using that silicone like we used before, if I was doing a, a big area, I would use the silicone again. But I'm just covering up a little tiny hole. Um, and um, <coughs> just so when I put the epoxy in there, it doesn't go down in there. So in order for me to get to it, hold on. 
Ooh, and I'm gonna put some more glue all around here. You can never have too much glue. <laughs> but remember this is plastic. Um, all right, y'all, so we're gonna put a little rim of hot glue, kind of like our silicone. I guess <coughs> the dust of this stuff from him drilling it, but I've been wiping it. All right, I'm gonna put that all around the edge. Take my little nail, and I'm just gonna swish it around. Just so, just like that silicone, I don't have any places for that epoxy to get in. And remember, you know, glue, hot glue, it looks like um, your water, <coughs> like the clear um, epoxy that we did. And this is the screw y'all gonna put back in the hole of this. This is usually how I store mine. I just find like a screw and put it down on there and it kind of seals it dry. And then you could just pull the screw or you can put it on the end of your screwdriver and just pull it right out if it gets a little stuck. Okay, let me get that out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cure overnight really good, not move it. <clears throat> then I'll, all I'll have to do is pour my um, epoxy in here. Now, I'm not gonna tin it like we did the other one and I'm not going to um, put any shells because this is really just kind of like the walkway at the top of the lighthouse. So, um, you know, I'm just really doing it because it'll actually touch the bottom of this. So it'll give this some more security. Um, but just so water doesn't fill up in here, mosquitoes, things like that. So the top part is almost done. The only thing that I won't do probably on camera is I will actually take my liquid nail and set it on the middle piece and go ahead and seal it. And that way this will be one entire piece. So the top part will be done. And then the bottom part, the only thing I still have to do is put the uh, sand spray paint on it, y'all, and then we can put it together. But what I want to do is this the cure, and I'm pretty sure, um, well, no, I guess probably because I've had it inside now, I'm gonna put this outside so it can charge up. That way, maybe like Sunday night or something, I can turn it all on and you'll be able to see it. Um, but your mom is going to love it. You know how much she loves the beach. Oh, Miss Donna, yes. She told me the first time she saw the bottom and how pretty the epoxy was, she goes, you know, I'm not gonna wanna put this in my yard. I put this in my house. And I'm like, well, you've got to at least put it out there for a little while. <laughs> All right, so let me, I don't want to move anything. Put this over here so we can do our craft. Well, let me go get the other piece. Away from the camera. I'm coming, you guys. Here, I figured while I'm up, I'll get this piece so you'll be able to see the top pieces together. So I'll glue, and you notice, like I said, it only goes down about, you know, maybe three quarters of an inch. So I'll go ahead and glue this piece down. This is the piece that's nine and three fourths. This is six and a half. And then this will be one whole piece. So if she ever takes it apart, moves it, does whatever, she'll have this part and then the bottom part, which is heavy, but she can still maneuver that bottom part. Um, and then, like I said, this is a solar light, so it will light up by itself. Um, so I'm going to move this piece back over here. So when I'm finished with y'all tonight, I'll go ahead and glue it. And in 24 hours, the top part will be done. So, I maybe, hopefully, I'll be able to take it to her soon. Now, if y'all have said anything, I have not read the first comment. So, let me see if there's anybody asked me any questions that I could answer. Sue, your brother is here. He's right across the pond. I think I'm going to do um, the tobacco basket, y'all, because my tobacco basket turned out amazing. I mean, I really thought I was going to have one that was like a little cattywampus crooked the first time, you know, and it was just something you had to practice. Mm -mm. 
with the right tools, those clamps, it is doable and so pretty. I was even able to put like these cute like crosses on them with the extra, you know, with one roll. So tomorrow we'll do that. So Sue, I'm gonna let your brother and his Aunt Peggy be on there. Um, because they have a really big porch that I'll be, I can do it on no matter if it's rain and sun or a rain. I'm requesting stuff for Mother's Day. Can you believe here in Pennsylvania, I woke up to snow and 29 degrees and two days ago it was 70. I can believe it because yesterday here it was 82 and today it was 50. I loved it. Nobody else loved it, but I loved it. It was beautiful outside, but the wind was blowing. That's why I really wanted to come on live a little earlier today and sand, I mean, and, and spray paint the bottom part, the sand, but it was just, it was beautiful, but it was way too windy. Um, and I've got to already tape up all those shells and all that stuff anyway, so the spray paint doesn't get on that epoxy. Um, but yes, Peggy, I can believe it because we had some crazy weather. And it's supposed to be even colder tonight, like 34 or something tonight or maybe tomorrow. And cold tomorrow. But then starting, I believe, Saturday, it goes from 65 to like 70 to 75. By the next weekend, we're back in the 86s. And I don't think it's supposed to get cold any, any time after that. So this is probably our last little, hey, it's spring, still a little cool, and then it's over with. Watching, listening while working on my sister's flower arrangement for her resting place. Sin, love watching, have learned from you. Um, that is so sweet, Dolores. I love when y'all craft and we're all craft together. Your mom's going to love it. There's Sue. I love your creativity. So, oh, thank you so much. Can't wait to see me either, Tony. This is going to be beautiful. Thank you, Amy. I can't wait to see it finished. And I am so doing one of these. I love lighthouses. Debbie, I hope so. I think it's, and, and you know, you, you do your colors or what you think is cool. Howdy from uh, Harrisonville, Missouri. This lighthouse craft could be the great idea for my brother. This is going to my books. So I'll remember to make it. Yes. And Darlene, y'all, y'all text me uh, or PM me anytime. And I didn't put this in the bottom of that. We shook it up, didn't we? I'm going to turn it upside down and also foam shoot in there. But you know, since I was able to get that liquid nail down in there, I may not do the foam. I may not do the foam. Because I think the liquid nail and the epoxy, now that I've done the epoxy, it's going to work. Um, yes, but if y'all ever want to instant message me um, questions about, you know, would this work? I mean, the measurements, you can use any measurements, really. As long as they, you know, uh, you, you, they get smaller as you go up then I think anything's fine. And there's nothing to say you can't do it with plastic ones. Um, I would just kind of get some maybe, you know, I wouldn't get any from the dollar store that um, is really thin because you're liable to do a lot of work to it and it could crack, you know, even in the heat or crack in the cold in the um, winter. That is, uh, uh, thank you, thank you. Like us too. Ohio, 27 in snow. Sharon, does that light turn on at the bottom? Just making sure you can get to it. No, Trish. I already pulled the little tab out of it and made sure it worked. Um, but it, I've, it's been inside, so the battery from the solar has not charged. But it, yes, it does work. I would like, you know... Yeah, that would scare me if it didn't. But that's why I like having it in two pieces. That way, you know, the, the part that we spent so much time and making so beautiful is a piece of its own. So, like, if the top blew off, we could remake the top. Um, love this. I, I'll do it in a miniature. <laughs> All right. Had some snow flurries today. 20 tonight. Low is 27. Oh, my gosh. All right. Good evening. Carmelissa. Carmelissa. Gosh, that's pretty. Carmelissa, my hubby is from Maine, so going to do one similar to, I think. Um, hey, from Canada, look forward to watching every night. Caroline, so am I. All right, let's get uh, to our little craft. Okay, you know, last night I left out my little owls, and, you know, I'm trying to pull out different crafts, um... And this is the ribbon I wanted to use. Let me put this paintbrush up. Um, different crafts that are not like holidays can be summer things. And I think y'all really enjoy the um, 
what was it? The butterfly, the truck we did last night. So tonight, what I want to do is make an, an owl, like, like owls in a barn house, like, you know, farmhouse, barn. Sometimes every now and again, they put numbers and wherever these little pieces come from. But these in that package that we use the butterfly, the lady book also had an owl. And I'm always wanting to do barn. And I have my paint sticks here because we're going to do an upright one. I started to go in there and grab um, maybe like a little, a little frame that I've got. But I'm so scared. At the Dollar Tree, those are hit or miss if you get them. So what we're going to do is make our, a really simple barn out of our paint sticks. And we're going to make it for, remember, this is the other half of the wood that we did last night. So I'll... And it will go up, and then we'll paint and put our um, little owl in it. You know, some people love, Neely loves owls. So, let me get down what I want to do. Let's see. One, so it's ten. Girl, my, my face owls. Hold on, my face owls. You were so close with my name. Um, Carmelissa. Carmelissa. Carmelisa. Oh man, that's so pretty. Girl, my face owls. What does that mean, y'all? It. Hold on. Favorite. <laughs> Girl, my fave is I. Okay. Hell, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> All right, so I'm just getting that little place out. Remember, these are the little blocks that are one, um, they're four inches by just like a quarter of an inch uh, planks. You can buy them at different uh, lengths. You can get like an eight-foot piece. This was probably just a couple of feet. They say it's called the specialty wood owl in Lowe's, but I always just call it the crafter's wood because who else is over there doing something with just a plank of wood like this besides me? <laughs> I have owls all over my house. I uh, have been collecting them for 40 years. All right, Judy, well, this would be right up your alley then. Okay, I, I want to take right up to the paint stick where it comes in. So I want to take my little shears and I'm going to keep this wood. I need to take my little saw out. Y'all are still scared of that little saw. Because today, I used a ton of these little pieces today for a project for my table. And so, I know that they will now be used for something. And I have a little place to store them. Okay. Alright. This is... We're going to do a little wood construction tonight. And I don't want to do just a flat one. Just a flat, you know, here, and you put the little top and all that. I want to um, make it just a little bit of dimension to it. So I'm going to grab some of these little blocks. Love Owls. Uh, hey, from Indiana, I got Frank to get me some wooden shingles out of our attic to paint. Oh, you mean like you stored old shingles in it? Oh my gosh, I bet those are so beautiful. Uh, when you are not on live, can I go back and watch your crafts? Don't want to miss and want to see the lighthouse when finished. When you are not on live, can I go back? Can I go back and watch your crafts? Don't want to miss. Yes, you can. Like when, when this goes off, you can just click on end and go back to Sin's Crafting Bin and it should have old videos. But I do put all my videos on YouTube. Um, and YouTube to me is easier to navigate older um, videos. But yes, they're all stored on there and you can watch them. It's just on Facebook, they're listed as, um, you know, one week ago. You know, so like for seven days, it'll say one week ago. Not one, yeah, seven of them and we'll say one week ago. Okay, y'all, I want to do like my first little barn 
I'm just gonna put two of these sticks, but I'm gonna put two of these together. And this is super light, so I, I'm just gonna put, now if you wanted to put them all the way down, you can. I think it's only gonna need two because like I said, this stuff is super light. I'm putting them right in the center so you don't see. Um, and that doesn't make any sense that I didn't go all the way down because I need to help it be a footer for me. So I'm gonna put that one all the way at the bottom. So don't do what I just did. Put one close to the top and one close to the bottom. Well, hold on. Okay, don't pay any attention to me right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put some glue here and here, but when I, when I make it, I'm gonna stand it up because I want it to be level because it is gonna be, you know, when you think about, I'm losing, oh, I about lost y'all. Ooh, I froze on myself too, y'all. I hope I don't lose y'all tonight. Is the wind, the wind is blowing here, but didn't think it was blowing that bad. Okay, I don't know if you got that, but when you're gluing something together, don't glue it flat because you're trying to eyeball it, especially if you want it to stand up. You want to, when you put them together, stand it up so it, you, it'll make sure it's level at the bottom. I've done that before and hold it up. One side doesn't touch the bottom. It happens. So we're going to put this one here. And I don't really know where I need the top one. Sorry, we were having trouble playing this video. All right, I am freezing on myself. So I don't know if I'm gonna freeze for y'all. We may be having um, uh, internet problems. You are having an Easter dinner at your house this year? No, not at my house. I don't know if y'all can see me. Give me some hearts if you can, because on my laptop, I'm freezing up, and it could just be Chris's laptop. You know, my phone could be, you're saying fine here. Okay, I turned my chat back on, but it says, sorry, we're having trouble playing this video. Well, we don't like you either. Let me go out and come in. If I lose y'all for the weather, I can finish this up tomorrow. And uh, see, it says no internet. See, I think that's what's going on is our internet. And see, my phone's internet is still on. But I, I'm looking at the little, oh, I see a red light on it. Yeah, I don't know anything about that internet stuff. Thank goodness I still have it on my phone. But if I lose you, like I said, we'll, we'll catch each other tomorrow. I usually don't do anything on Friday. But um, I really want to show y'all um, how to make the tobacco basket. And Chris's mom and daddy have a really big, awesome porch. A porch that anyone would kill for. And I get to, I'll show it to you. And, um, and that way I'll have plenty of room to show you the tobacco basket. This site can't be reached. What are you making? Um, I am making a paint our little owls that we did not use last night. So two like barn owls. All right, so here are our walls. So we're gonna put it together and I'm thinking that I can do it to the side, but I know I don't want them this long, but I don't know how long I want my roof. Like I told you, this is, I wanted to get like a, a like a, almost a shadow box, a reverse um, frame. But the frame, the little boxes that I got from Walmart, I mean, not Walmart, from the Dollar Tree, they're hit or miss. So y'all are saying your Dollar Trees aren't that good. And I was lucky to get the little four I got up in Augusta the other day. So I don't want to use something that y'all maybe couldn't use. All right, so we went here. All right, let's see, so we can do one like so. All 
All right, um, let me do it and then I'll show you how I did it. I hope the internet comes back. Okay, now I see it blinking green, so. I'm glad I do this on my phone. Now I'm gone again. Now it's back, y'all. I don't know what to say to do. I think my phone is trying to reconnect with that. Uh, we have had such good luck with our internet the past few months, so I don't want to complain. Okay. All right, what I did, I just put a block on here, one of these like little blocks you buy at the Dollar Tree. You can probably use one of your Jenga blocks too. And I'm going to, and I put it right where my little, maybe I need to glue these on here first. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully they'll stand up on their own. And I can do here. Yes, okay. All right, so I did this a little down and I'm gonna put this flat on here. Yes, you'll have a little peak, but that's okay. We're gonna put a, um, a bow at the top and you know, girl bows cover up everything. The internet is back. I don't know what happened there for a second. Um, the wind is pretty bad here. The internet dropped me, tell your daddy. But now, and I look at the red light, it's all back on now. So, y'all, I don't know how to find Sin's crafting bin. There it is again. So, I'll let's see. I uh, was at North Myrtle Beach this morning getting my first vaccine. The Dollar General there had lemons everywhere. <gasps> oh, I'm going to that Dollar. There's a Dollar General out in the middle of nowhere in Burke County that I have really wanted to go to. Yes, you're freezing and getting blurry. Okay, Darlene, I hope now everything's okay. Our internet, our home internet shut off, but now all my green lights are back on, and I think my phone was, you know, went to, like, the cell tower itself, and then when my internet came on, it switched back to that because it said on here, freezing up, but it's not doing it now, so uh, you did not freeze in. <laughs> I'm so glad. Okay, so... Here's our roof line. We can take another craft stick, paint stick, you know, whatever, you know, know these little craft sticks will work too. Um, Jake is not happy with you right now, Bubby. He's like, why are you leaving me outside? Well, I mean, is, did you leave the door open for him? I put it on the floor. She's getting on to Jake for something I did. So see what we can put little paint sticks on our roof. But, now we need to make sure we have this all set. I've got this little mat down, so I'm gonna put it on the edge and maybe go, go right here and go an inch in. So, look at that again. Right here and an inch in. And now other crafters I watch, they're like, I hope this is going to work. I'm like, I would never be brave enough to say, I hope this is going to work. But y'all, hold on. I hope this is going to work. The good thing is, is we didn't paint it. I didn't want to do anything to it before we did this. Because believe it or not, like wood that is porous, it'll soak up your glue and you'll get a good bond. Um, so I didn't want to put any paint on it yet. Okay, so now... Just like before, we're going to come in an inch. I'm looking on my, um, this little side, and it looks like I'm coming in more than an inch. Okay. All right, that Dollar General was out, way out. Yeah, I mean, they, they put them out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm like, yes, watching for, from Perkins. All right, Diane, how are you? I'm in, in, hold on, in, 
MB, Judy. Okay, y'all are saying that. Love your magic wand. Super cute. That's my um, bless your heart. Listen, for all of you newbies, <laughs> this is our bless your heart. I actually made this as a craft one night. It's a long story. I don't even know how to explain it. She is a beaut. Her name is Bless Your Heart. We gave her some eyes at Valentine's Day. We did give her a bow for her hair, but that something happened to it. She will make all of our craft dreams come true. <laughs> we love Bless Your Heart. We don't say negative things about Bless Your Heart because she keeps all our crafts in line. So we love her. She's gonna make this craft work. I put her on the edge of my desk. She's our mascot. She stays here all the time. Okay. Now, our little roof, we're going to set right here, which is, you know, kind of like I would say a barn front. I mean, the front of a barn. And I want to leave it open in here. I mean, we could have put sticks, uh, paint sticks, you know, to make it. But I want to leave it open because, you know, owls, um, you know, usually sit on their little perch. So... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have room enough to do two. No. So we're just going to do one key. And he's going to sit right there. And you know what I can do with him? We can actually put some little sticks over. And do I have a little tiny paint stick up here? We can put him up here. And he can sit on it. like in our barn loft. All right, so, hold on. Thinking again, y'all, you know, that takes, takes, takes my second to think. Uh, is it the Dollar General at Long, South Carolina? Oh, I have no idea. Y'all must be talking amongst yourselves. Thinking if I put this a little bit longer, I can kind of wedge it in here. Yes, we are like some, I, we could do some Lego working. We are on fire tonight with our Lego making. Okay, I'm gonna take my little roof real quick and I'm gonna put um, my little uh, front on it. Like some front little shingles. Y'all, you could go outside and get twigs. You know, it's the, it's getting to be spring. Go outside, get some twigs. Um, you know, cute little branches. They have we have those uh, little um, stumps, or you know, one of those little things we use that to make stems for pumpkins in the fall. If you have any of those in your craft supply, you can use those. And y'all hear Jake jumping up on the door. He's like, let me in. No, come down. Okay. Uh, owls would work. Fowls would work. Yeah. Dowls. <laughs> Cynthia, I'm telling you, I autocorrect to get you every time. Thinking under pressure is lots of fun. Almost missed you. Sheila, you hadn't missed anything but some of my little mini construction going on here. And, and y'all, this is, which I don't know, maybe with this little perch, I'll be able to get two of them on here. I wish I had, they had like different sizes. Ooh, I think we can, I think we can. And here is our little top. It's not gonna be hard to secure because of the front. And I could have put, you can put your little, dowels all the way to the top. That's what I was scared of is putting these all the way to the top in case I needed to put something between them, but you can, and it's going to help, uh, secure this on. I mean, not really help, but give it a little bit more stability. So, all you really need when you put it together is one at the top and one at the very bottom. I mean, you could have could pinch this in the middle, but you're not going to do that. And nothing on this is going to weigh any amount. This doesn't weigh, and this is just, you know, it's really light too. So, the reason why I'm putting this in here is just to kind of give my roof line a little bit something else to uh, glue into. That's it. 
almost missed you. Need a bale or two of hay. I know. I'm mean, y'all. So, is it is it too early to say I'm ready for fall? It's just so easy crafting for fall. Um, I love it. Okay, so you see how right here, oh, right here. I don't know why I'm turning this around. Right here, where I'm going to stick my roof. Right in here, all I have to do is put a little glue right here and a little glue right there. And not only is the weight of the roof gonna sit on it, that glue is gonna secure the um, the roof to it. So you're gonna actually really have the weight of it, the roof, and the glue holding it together. Now, why is it? Oh, I see what I did. All right, I wanna cover this up. See how I gave this a lot of room and this one I did right in the middle. I'm hoping maybe I can heat this up. Yes, we can. Because if I give myself some more room, I can cover up both those little pieces right there. Construction, people, construction. Now you know what all those little people who make all the stuff in Hobby Lobby, they probably sit around and say, we've got all these extra pieces of wood. What can we do with them? We can make a barn, all these ladies to go crazy over in Hobby Lobby. Well, we can make our own um, little uh, barn. Like MacGyver. We're like the MacGyver of popsicle sticks and um, It pop loose all but this one little place right here. And I don't want to crack it or anything because it really is too cute. I feel you getting hot. I know you're getting hot. They make tiny bales too. Oh, they do. I have some in my fall. See, that's the, my new thing is coming back a year around for fall. Now I know what I use up here. Okay, so what I wanna do is put it more towards the edge. Okay, even though I don't think I need to put any more glue on here because this glue was, we melted it again, but just to make sure, we'll put a little extra. Okay, there we go. I'll let that harden back up and we're good to go. Um, <clears throat> then once my I bring my fall back out, I'll see that there probably are a lot of things. You know, I'm one of those that thought, oh, you can only use raffia during the fall and things like that. And the more you craft, the more it just opens up your imagination and you can see you can use these parts for other things. Matter of fact, we're gonna put some raffia in our little bow. For this guy, yes, I will be back there. Oh, okay, y'all were talking. Stumps will make good owls. Your little stick stumps. Sticky stumps? Okay, so now, see now this side is covering it up and I can see it a little bit over here. But I'm gonna live with it. See, I don't want you to see that little corner right there, but hold on. <laughs> I'm being picky now, y'all. But since y'all told me I could heat this back up and just move it over, that's what I'm gonna do. Secure. Let me re-secure it as I make it weak. Um, I collect owl things. I can't wait to make this. Yes, I mean, and I'm not, Neely's big on owls. She loves owls. But, um, 
I, I've never, I don't know. I guess I'm not a collector. If I see something that I like, it's really cute. I'll, I put it in my house. That's anything to. All right. So y'all see how I'm going to do it now. And that made it better kind of now that's moving and I don't want it to move, but it's moving into the place that I want it to be. So all I did was just put the glue back behind there, right there. And I'm just gonna, and it would sit on top of it. Of course it would fall off if you hit it. So the weight of the roof is sitting on it. It's real secure. And then now we have glue. Ooh, I don't wanna run. Now, all right, all done. You can paint your barn red if you're into like the chicken barn thing. I'm gonna stain mine because I have some real cool jean material, like um, jean, uh, you know, like the clothes jean, the material jean. My glue. I finished the lemon wreath. I need to go check out the lemon stuff at the Dollar Tree. My glue girl went to heaven today. That time for a new one. Martha, you need to get you like the, tell your husband, perfect Easter present. I just finished the lemon wreath. I like doing wildlife photographs, although I do not really good at it, but I haven't gotten to watch owl yet. It's really rare to see owls and they make their nests huge. You're gonna do some glue to give his body some texture. Like, ooh, pat patty. You see y'all make it denim. Yes, jean, like the material denim, yes. I'm, I'm just, okay, just one of those days. Okay, so we got our perfect little barn, it's 30. Let me do this and know it won't come apart. So, perfect, you can make an activity scene at Christmas time with something like this, fall, anything. We're gonna make a little shelf setter. I'm just getting glue drops off of it now. All right, I'm going to wedge my little piece in here, but I still am gonna glue it um, because I want them to sit on here. And I'm pretty sure, God, I hate when they put this look, I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna have to put uh, two of these on it. I don't think I would have to put maybe something this big, even if I have something half this big, just to give it that little bit of security on here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get to do some painting. Painting, painting, painting. And like she just said, what a great idea. Remember we put the texture on our chicken? I wonder if I had any finger, most of the time ink will come off. You have fingernail polish remover, but I don't have any up here. Could make a mag, uh, manger scene, yes. Um, Little River, okay, y'all are still talking about I really like this idea, you never let me down. Isabel, it's too fun. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, you know, I'm thinking about his little wings on the side, kind of like when you're looking like at a ladybug. So I think I'm just gonna put some little um, feather-like stuff just on the side, you know what I mean? So when we paint it, it'll kind of be dimensional. So first, I'm gonna start by making a line like, you know, where his wing is. Kind of over here, same way. It's hard to do this with a glue gun like this. It's the only thing hard about a high temp glue gun is your glue tends to settle. So try to like barely squeeze your gun. But if you have like one of those little tiny glue guns, like if you can take out something like, gosh, and I brought one up here. One like this, it is perfect for this because, um, I mean, you can let it ride, you know, because it just doesn't get that hot. I can hear myself on the laptop, y'all. The volume is just barely loud, loud enough and I just hear myself, let it ride. <laughs> hey, Angelique. 
Uh, thank you, Jenny. I love this coin to make one. Yes, this is, I mean, y'all remember when you get these two, you get two butterflies, you get two ladybugs, blood, blood, blah, blah, blah. so for, you know, and then we didn't use very much, you know, just some supplies we have. And I'll go back and count the, the, the glue sticks and tell you exactly, you know, this bottom, you can really use anything. I mean, it's really light. Um, you just need something with a little weight. I would say you could use poster board, but you, you may need something. Um, ooh, I'm gonna do their eyes, like two round eyes. Okay, hopefully that'll set really good. So we did like two eyes. One of them's a little crooked, but you know, he's, he's just waking up. He had a rough day at work. There we go. Love doing this. And when we paint it, y'all, they're going to look so cute. All right. We'll give him a little textured toes. I'm trying to do the textured part a, a good little ways from each other. So it won't turn into one little blob. Working with something this small. And you'll see it. Okay. So, next thing I did is I gave him a little bit of ears and some toes. And, y'all, uh, hot glue will paint. And you may have to do multiple coats with just plain acrylic, but usually your, um, your chalk paint, you only have to do one, no matter, really, no matter what co color you're doing. Okay, I want to make sure all this is good and dry. I'm pretty sure his little wings are, and that way I can do some texture. Yeah. To make it look like. Okay. So all I did was like a lot of little, not dots, just kind of almost strings. See? Almost like an upside down tear. Okay, now I think that's gonna be super, super cute. All right, I'm going there. Fire, my brothers went over and asked where the fire is. Asher was scampering. Hold on, I missed, okay. My grandson and I were out with my brothers in the woods. Basically, I live in the woods. Um. Woods, while my grandson got playing in the pig pen, he began yelling, Oh, my, there's a fire. My brother went over and asked where the fire is. Asher was scampering out of there. He says to my brother in the kitchen, Uncle, so we have a pig pen with a kitchen. I had to share this story. Oh, my gosh. Scamper out of there, he says to my brother in the kitchen, Uncle. <laughs> there's a fire in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, that's cute, so cute. I do that with paint. I live on a pond, we have an owl and an eagle nest and two trees on our land. That is beyond cool. I'll have to, we always have like uh, gray, you know, gray herons and stuff land in our pond. But I don't think we have anything that lives here. I remember once where Chris's parents lived in town and actually right, right down the road from where I grew up too. Um, there was an owl's nest and I saw baby owl sitting in it. And that's the only time I've ever probably seen an owl like light on anything. Um, besides like when you see them, um, you know, maybe flying or something. All right, so there's his little wings. So I'm gonna paint him now. 
And first, of course, I'm going to take out my antiquing. But I'm going to paint him white first, and then I'm going to shade him with all my different browns. How this plaster right here is still going, I'll never know. Where is, there it is. Hello, hello. All right. I'm excited about finishing our lighthouse tomorrow. All right, do y'all want me to try to do it tomorrow evening at this time? Or I get off of work at 12. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe I could do it at like five o'clock or something. That would be my time. I, Eastern time, I don't, I guess, what are we, like two or three hours behind y'all? All right. So I'm just going to take some of my white. And I'm just going to paint him all over. And his little hoot, his little um, hoot, uh, Ooh, I have my little letters. We ought to write hoot on it or something. I always forget about little words. Okay. So you can see him all textured up. So this one little piece right here. Okay. There he is all textured up. Remember we start out with a flat piece of wood. And you can do anything. You can write letters with this um, glue. And it's glue, so it's not going to come off. Just when you paint it, you see all the little spider webs. So be mindful of those. Goodness gracious, as I say that, I see like 20. There is an owl that comes and sits on the bird feeder post and looks at me sitting on the couch. I try to get a picture, but he flies. He has been here a couple of nights. Keep uh, kind of weird how he moves his head to look at me. Like, yeah, they can turn their heads all the way around. It is. They say if, like, my sister, when she first moved into the house she lives in, I can't remember if, like, a, a bird was flying in her, her window or something. And they say get a fake owl and put it on your porch. I don't know if that keeps the other birds away, you know, or, or some. I can't remember why she had to put Al out there. I should have maybe remembered it before I told you the story. But with, with some reason <laughs> that they were told to put an owl outside, I think Randy said it didn't help. Whenever, just want to watch. Okay, you forgot to give Al's beaks. All right, we can still do that. Let's dry him a little bit because I really don't want to blend him. I want to make his wings actually. And I, ooh, I got to worry about my glue heating back up. Look at his little wings. Who told me about this? Putting the texture on it. That was awesome. Because I would have just painted them up flat. And they would have been cute, but they wouldn't have been this cute. See, ladies, this is why Sims crafters should never craft alone. All right, now let's give him a beak. How many licks does it take to get to the middle of a tootsie roll? A one, a two, three, crunch, three. <laughs> this one right here looking a little, talking about cattywampus, it was all
Wish I could craft with you. It'd be awesome. I know, Isabel, we would have a ball out in the garden to keep keep something away. Yeah, it was something that they were trying to keep. I want to say birds were running into their window and it was like cracking the window or something. Stephanie, if you're on here, tell us what it was because I forget. And I know she is. My sister's a sneaky. They'll watch and never say anything. They sneaky like that. She can't hardly, they, she can't get away from her video games and she probably cramped candy crushing it. Or she says she's not playing that anymore, but I know she's playing a game. Okay. Oops. Got a little liquid on it. Okay, so they got that. Oops. I have a little beak on them now. Except this one looks like he's going, uh, whatever. <laughs> he just thinks he's the queen of uh, but he just don't know I know uh better than he does. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, we need to get our browns out. I think the owl keeps mice away. Not sure. Um, Yeah, but I think it was like birds or something were like running into their windows or something. Let's see, truffle. Antique, and I know I have a hazelnut or a fawn in here. Ooh, and you know what we may can do? Let me see if this will work. To rub the colors on the... Ooh, yeah, on the raised part. On the textured part. A couple of years ago, we forgot to shut our door, and a blue jay flew into our camp and blew into our kitchen. Went flew into our kitchen when we thought he was dead, but my grandson took him outside and pushed on his chest and revived him and took him a while, but he finally flew. Listen, a couple of I, I know what you mean. I think they stun themselves. I mean, I guess when they fly like headlong. I love to open both the doors in my room. One goes to my porch. One goes to the door. We, you know, everybody comes in. Um. And I love to leave them open. Love it. Well, um, I think it was just maybe a house wren. Some kind of bird got in here, y'all. And we left the doors open. And we were like, oh, my God, please fly out. It would get above my cabinets where all, like, my serving dishes are that I keep up there, like, on show. It was all up there. Finally, these two, these three big windows over here. It really does look like a huge, you know, opening for it. It flew from like one side of my living room. I mean, I thought it had cracked my window. So of course, you know, I'm worried more about my window at first. But this poor bird, I mean, this head was just, I was like, I looked at Julie and I was like, he broke his neck, he's gone. And you know, I have four cats. So I'm like, um, what do you do with this? You know, I worry about it having like bird mites on it or something so you know even though it's precious looking i mean i'll touch it but you know i'm not gonna like sit there and just oh you're sweet yeah, mm -mm. <coughs> my look i have like bird lice the next day or something so so julie is has this bird and she's like it's okay and she like she said i know it's still breathing i can see its chest i said well if it's breathing its neck's broke there's no i mean his neck was all like this. i mean he hit that window wide open so then um, she is like, no, it's okay. I'm going to put it in this little blanket in this shoe. Went and got a shoe box, and she is trying to help this bird. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't know where you're going to put it because as soon as my cats discover it, they're going to torture it. Um, so she is like trying to keep watch. She's cleaning up in here. And then she's trying to keep watch over this bird she's trying to save. And, and then all of a sudden, my one of my females discover that I guess they could smell it, whatever. So, you know, it kind of moses over. And then my cats are slick now. I mean, it's like, oh, what you got in there? Mm -hmm. I mean, even just kind of like lightly putting his paw on it. Like, oh, yes. You know, that poor little critter. Next thing you know, 
and, and try to like grab it, like, because it wanted it, not to eat it, but to take it and like torture it and play it. Because, you know, cats don't really want to eat that stuff unless they're starving. They want to t torture them to death, play with them, like, like that kind of play. I was like, girl, do not let my cat fool you because they're going to try to get that cat. I mean, get that bird. You know, and I, I ain't gonna hear you crying, you know, so you either need to hold that bird or there's, there's nowhere to put it that my cats wouldn't have got to it, you know, up on the shelf or something. So she watched it out the door and watched it and she got all the cats inside and shut the door and it was outside and she kept going, it's, it, I don't think it's gonna be a crime. I'm like, it's next broke. I'm telling you, this, this bird is not gonna make it. And um, it was probably, I know, 30, 45 minutes later, you know, it sits up. It doesn't fly away, but it, like, sits up, like, like where am I at? Like, you know, when you wake up and you have way too much to drink or something, you're like, where I am? Yeah, it's like that. I'm like, where am I? And all of a sudden, it flew off. But, y'all, how this bird made it, I don't know how it made it from my cats. I don't know. Um... Yeah, I mean, it was, I was like, girl, you know, and she was like, and of course, I'm like, do not let Buffy know, because if Buffy knows, boy, I mean, the, the cat rescuer, she, she picked up two mangy dogs one time, I'm talking about mange stinking in her brand new car when she was 16 years old. She puts a picture of them on Facebook and says, whose dogs are these? I'm talking about two dogs that... In the back of her brand new car at the seat, you know, and I'm that horrible mother that all I could comment and go, you have those dogs in your car? <sighs> I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I mean, I feel for them. I didn't want anything to happen, but I was like, are you kidding me? And, um, yeah, so I'm like, Julie, do not let my young and see that, um, that bird because it's not staying in my house. Okay, I went ahead and did my little two coats on that. Now what I'm gonna do is take my antiquing and just take all the white part and um, and make it, you know, brown. Kind of like stain the white a little bit. But yeah, she was wanting to put this to my, I'm gonna have to take this and you taking that bird home and put it in your car because Buffy will want to Put it in her room, you know, and she don't even like dogs. I mean, I shouldn't say she don't like dogs. She loves all animals, but she is a cat person. She's not a dog person, but she loves all animals. So when she saw them, and it was somebody's dogs that just, they didn't know where they were. And of course, she got two mangy dogs in her car, y'all. And, and she said, Mom, well, I just couldn't leave them there. I said, well, you couldn't take a picture of them standing by your car and say, hey, your cars are at Bilo. I mean, your cars. Your dogs are at Bilo. You didn't have to put them in your car. Um, but according to her, she had to put them in her car. And Mandy, if you're watching this, you know when she puts your mangy, dirty dogs in her car, they look like they had just been through it. But her dogs like to roam. And they always have that connection. Now when she sees me and she's like, remember, remember when you rescued my dolls? And I'm sitting over there going, yeah, I remember when she put them in her brand new car and I wanted to take her behind. Um, Cause you know, y'all, we live in a little old town where, yeah, you can literally say, I found your doll. And it's somebody will say it's mine. Cause we don't keep them on in pens or nothing. And sometimes they let it roam. Unless you get them fixed. You are better entertainment than TV, Peggy. I'm telling you, I'm, am I am not terrible that I have to admit that I'm that mama that said, you got them dogs in your car. But I mean, that's all I could think about was, oh, I mean, you can't get, I mean, it's leather seats, but you can't get, sometimes you just can't get certain stinks out. And that's all I could think. And Chris, and of course, Chris, he chimes in and goes, in her car? And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're mad too, so you get her. <laughs> Because she'll just look at me like I'm just worried about the car, which I am. But, I mean, she could have took a picture of them standing beside her car. She didn't have to put them in her car. Girl, my granddaughter cried when her turtle died. She said she tried to do a turtle CPR. We laughed so hard. How you do turtle CPR? Crack his shell. Yeah, I'm uh, like Harry, y'all. When she got Harry, you know, he's beautiful and he sleeps with me every night. He is my baby. But she found him in 
a motor, like at one of her boyfriend's house a few years ago, you know, they heard his meowing and it was like literally in this motor, somebody's car motor. She, and he, his arm was like, his shoulder was di dislocated. Y'all, this is so sweet, but hilarious. His shoulder was dis dislocated and evidently it messed him up because he's, he can't really climb. Now, <laughs> well, she brought him home and hid him in her room for a week. We didn't know he was in her room. So she hid him in her room for a week. She she had put she had made a splint for his leg with like a little stick, and she had wrapped <laughs> tape around his arm, and um, and his hair was falling all off of him. And you know he's orange and beautiful hair now, hair falling off. Him. So finally, when she was like, she knew that like he needed a bed. She had to break down, and she broke down and told her daddy first, <laughs> of course. So, she's like, take it to Dr. Gratis. Took it to Dr. Gratis. This cat was really on the verge of dying. He, um, need, they had to actually give him blood, not just, I mean, he, he needed everything. So, and he goes, and by the way, the reason why his hair is not growing, he was covered in ringworms. So, of course, you know, above my hypochondriac sweetheart baby that she is, she did get a couple of ringworms on her. He gave, Dr. Gratis gave her some medicine for it. Because he's like, you're probably going to get ringworms. Because if he, he had slept in her bed with her, she had hid this cat for a week. <clears throat> well, according to her, every time she got a spot, she said, oh, there's another ringworm. So, I think in the end, she said she had like 30, which I know she never did. Um, but, um, but now, you know, Harry is this beautiful baby that we all love. But, yeah, if it probably would have been up to me, I'd be like, you need to take that dog or find that cat home. We had three at the time. And, uh, but now we got Harry and bless him. I love him. But that's funny. Turtle CPR. I know. I mean, can you imagine walking in on that? She's probably heartbroken. And you, like me, you want to laugh. Like, you know, did you really think she's going to re resuscitate that, um, that, uh, poor turtle? But y'all, we, we're a trip with animals. There's not an animal we have that's not spoiled. Jay, we just dog sit him for a friend. And now he won't go home, and the friend doesn't doesn't try to take him home. And um, now he he today he was rubbing on my leg, and he's never really done that because um, like he's always been a hunting dog, so they didn't, they haven't really treated him with affection. But now you know that I give him treats constantly. He's rubbing up against my leg like, hey, best friend, and I'm like, hey, boy. And, uh, so, uh, now he, I, I don't, I don't want him to go back. I kind of just want him to be our dog because I know he's going to go back to just, you know, sitting in a pen by himself. <laughs> All right. So here is my owl. I gave him some little dark eyes. I left his little wings, a lot of yellow, on, yellow, white on his wings. But this is the way it started out. I just rubbed the two colors on the glue that we put. Then I'm gonna take this antiquing and all the places in the center that's the white, I'm just kind of staining it. If you want to put it on here and then rub it off, if you if you one of those crafters who likes to craft with the um baby wipe, that would work too, because I'm just really want to stain my white. And normally I would use my finger, but getting on these places where um, the glue is around the edge, my finger just couldn't get to it. So, see like that. I put it on like that, and then you can just wipe it down and it, see how it just stains it. And I like that one. See, and it's going to be a little bit lighter. I didn't really wipe this one, but I like them be in two different shades. You know, if they were the same, it, it, I mean, I know they're not real, but um, they just seem a little bit more real if they're not identical. I'm not listening to it. It was hilarious. She put it on the video telling the story and we ran across it. She thought we were horrible for laughing. Yeah, Buffy would have not been so happy about me. She never understands how we're not laughing at you. We're laughing with you, even though we're the only ones laughing. But we're just laughing at the story, not you. Um, 
but um but yes yeah, she she doesn't get that either but that's hilarious the turtle oh man i would never forget that all right i'm just gonna put a little bit on his ears and just a little bit to define him and his little feet is buffy i was just telling him about hairy splint you had on his leg when you found him <laughs> And you hid him from us for a week in your room. Poor baby. That's why he loves me more. He doesn't love you more. Who's he sleep with every night? His Nana. And y'all, she don't like him sleeping with her because when with that week that he slept in the bed with her, you know, he would kind of play with her and bite her face a little bit. And 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 that's how he shows you love now is he bites your face. Like every now and again, if you get real close, he'll put his mouth on you. Well, he'll, if he gets in the bed with her, he likes to do that to her. It's bite her on her face and she can't stand it. So she really secretly, she's like, oh, I love you, Harry. But when it's time to go to sleep, she brings him to my room. Because she knows that his nan is going to take care of him. Okay. So there's our little owls. All right, and I'm going to just, and I don't know why I put it up, put my antiquing on this. Because we're using jean denim. Um, is You know, blue is my main bow, um, is my main color in that. So just like last night, I know this wood is gonna stain really well. So is um, the paint sticks, because you know they're wood. So we'll get that good weight, blah, 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 wood grain. But remember, if you're more, you know, like your decor has some red in it, you know, do your barn red. You really saw like how last night we painted with that moss color, the old truck. Really, if you kind of antique them enough or rust them out enough, make them look, you know, really any color can be your farmhouse. But I kind of like, I love doing this little sit. Like my truck last night, I mean, there were so many places I like, I'm going to put it here. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to put it over here. Because when you make them where they stand, I love to do the little hanging things or lean-tos. But when they stand up like this, you can just really put them anywhere. You can move them really easy. Here comes my Jake now, my friend. Buffy left him outside. She's that punisher because he ate the cat food out the cat food bowls. Oh, and I'm getting this on this. This is why I don't get this, y'all, because I get stuff all over it. I guess because you're really not supposed to paint on them. Cute. She has the biggest heart for animals. She really does. Like I said, even when they aggravate her to death, she's still going to do anything she can for them. Buffy, I was telling them about you putting Mandy's dogs in your car. What is that, Chris? Plant. Uh, oh, that's right. It's supposed to get cold. She's having to bring her strawberry plants in because it's supposed to get 30 degrees tonight. And her strawberry plants have about probably what, Buffy? Five or six on each plant already? I mean, they're still really small, but... But they're doing really good, so she's bringing those inside for tonight. I'm hoping my ferns be okay, because I'm not bringing any of my stuff in. Stuff got to be tough around here. Okay. Y'all, I'm just antiquing this. And remember, I mean, you don't have to wipe this off. The longer you sit on here, the more coats you do, the darker it'll get. I know my primitive girls probably like it super, super dark. If a bird or butterfly dies, my granddaughter wants to bury them. The other day we had to bury three birds we found that died, and then she said we had to make a marker for them. I said, just put a rock on top. <laughs> yeah, she must be really little. They want you to do all kind of stuff, make them better. You know, listen, mine were the kind we go to the fair and you get the goldfish. And the next thing you know, we got a 
a tank with a you know a filter on it and these goldfish get humongous and then they die and then I'm like and then Chris is like they cost 10 cents at the store <laughs> I'm like they've had this one forever I can't just go get them a new one but once we were done with fish tanks I was glad just cleaning out water and all that there's a lot. How are those plants looking? Buffy, I think those squash plants are ready to go down. Yeah, they got a lot, I mean, they're huge. Okay, y'all, you don't really have to do the back, but for some reason, I at least want to throw a little bit on here. I'm not really sure where I want to set it in my living room. If I put it on an end table or something, you, you walk all the way around it. So I'm going to... Good thing about this is you don't have to be perfect. It's just staining your wood. And we'll do this and then nothing perfect. Did you get y'all your tractor? We sure did. And we, Chris and I, we think we're just some farmers pulling up trees high-fiving each other like you know we're the first people to ever pull up a tree with a we have like all these tiny little sweet gums that we cut down and we have to haul off and stuff and chris is like this tractor we you put a chain on it and you'll just pull it up so then we pull the tree up and we're out there like yeah. it's like you know we're doing just this awesome stuff high-fiving each other thinking we're so cool <laughs> and then buffy we let her get on it yesterday and Chris couldn't take that. That tractor kind of tilted a little bit when she went to pull it, and he was like, okay, okay, stop, stop. He is my, um, his mama is like that, too. We call him, her para and him noid. Because they see, especially when they were little, they saw death and everything. You know, I'm the one that lets them go on any ride they want to at the fair, and he's over there about to have a heart attack. As long as they weren't scared, I wasn't going to be scared. But not my Chris. Almost the same way, though. So it's like a running joke in our family. But they were fearless when they were little. Mine were probably the only kids at the fair that, you know, they would cry because they couldn't ride something. They were too little where everybody else is begging their kids to get on rides, and I'm over here like, I can't make mine stop crying because they can't get on this big one when they were, you know, five. This thing's got a lot of little nooks and crannies. I know that. Nooks and crannies. Isn't that a country word? I took a quiz one time that says, do you know what nooks and crannies are? And I'm like, who don't know what nooks and crannies are? Buffy, you know what nooks and crannies are? But do you ever say nooks and crannies? Do you ever say nooks and crannies? Yes. But is that a country thing? Somebody from the north, do y'all say nooks and crannies? I don't ever know what, until I take one of the quizzes that some people don't know what fixing to do or getting ready to do or all right let me get my little block at the bottom okay so besides these little blocks right here see and y'all you see how much I've pushed on it and painted it and all that. It's, it's, it's a pr pretty sturdy. Okay. So, I've got two six paint sticks um, that makes this and two um, bit the large um, popsicle sticks. But you could do the front with paint sticks too. So, you either could do six paint sticks and then the two um, popsicle sticks large or do um, eight um, paint sticks all together. And remember, I cut the tops off of mine, like right where the curve started. Um, and then I used one, 
two, three, four, five. You need five of these um, or the Jenga blocks and then whatever base you want. Like even if you have a two by four, that would be fine. But look at that. I mean, manger thing. Um, anything. I think like a really cute little flag hanging down for the 4th of July would be really cute too. Oops, you know what I'm going to need? Hold on, one more. I got my little... This is what my owls are going to sit on. So... I need to quit telling cat stories and all that kind of stuff. That my mouth. Yes, it is gonna be on. My hubby was telling a story when we were dating. He said, "Poke the cow. Oh, put the car in the door in the dooryard. Dooryard." I said, "What? <laughs> a kitchen." Giggle. Is it not a kitchen? I'd be embarrassed to tell you what rednecks from Vermont refer to just about anything as. It drives me crazy. Oh, um, yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, nooks and crannies, though. You know, like nooks and crannies, though, I mean, like, y'all, did this, like, shrink? It's not acting like... Now it's acting like it's too short. Okay. I want it to be able to kind of not wedge totally, but have better support. That way, I only have to put a little bit of glue. And I want them to kind of go towards the top because they are... Um, You know, owls in the top of a barn. They wouldn't, like, just be in your barn. Gosh, how did I have so much to paint and didn't realize it? Or stain, should I say. It didn't cover those words up, but... Okay, now I think besides the two little things I put up, you need not five, but I'm gonna get extra of these out. Okay, I'm thinking that even though it's wedged in here, I'm gonna put the glue on the bottom. So not only is it gonna stand up, and that seems just tall enough, right? Okay. Um, I'm going to put a bead right at the bottom so when it hardens, it'll harden up. I hear you, badness. Y'all hear Harry? He's like, Nana, I want to go outside. Do the other side. Okay. Let me let that harden harden up, and we'll put our little blocks on the back of our owls. So we'll make sure they're flat. little stands and y'all this looks like say if you just wanted to do this it looks like just this little block is going to be enough to stand it up i don't know if you can see that hold on put it right there just well i think it's my my board is weebly wobbly right there from being wet so 
Hello. Hello, Donna. Uh, Marlins have nasty mouths, or most of the ones I have made. <laughs> Maryland. Okay. Mar Marins. Maryland. People that live in Marins. Okay. Let's see. Are you hard? Looking like it. Yes. Okay. Let's get one more thing we gotta stain. Not too bad though. Don't put any on the bottom because you need it to have that good little stability uh, seeping into that wood and it's already on this paint stick. Oop. And then I just went to do it. Get off of there, okay. I think that's finally it. right there so let's lift this little guy up put a little dollar a daisy on him dollar a daisy ow 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 There we go. And it really wouldn't have taken us that long if I wouldn't have run my mouth. So there's our little owls in our barn. Our main knee, knees, that is what I call them. Oh my God, love, I have not seen you drink any water. I haven't, Sherry, but I did drink two 16, 16.9 ounces bottles that I got like to measure at work today. And then I made me a cup of water when I got home, just eight ounces. And I probably only drank probably two ounces out of it. So I got a little bit more to drink tonight. All right, so you know what we get to do now, the fun part. Because we didn't put a little bow on our truck last night. And even if this is the ugliest thing in the world, we're putting a bow on, um, on this right now. But, y'all, look, look, hold on. I don't know if y'all, you cannot see them on there. I can't see them on my camera. But I have got spider webs, like it's a haunted house. But just think of the thing. And, y'all, just popping those little loose, I can do other things with this little house. All right, so we got our jean, which is denim, duh. Then I have a lighter one. I brought this like little chevron pattern out. Y'all, I'm not all about blue, um, but I'm trying. Trying these other colors for you peeps that I love. Why are you not, oh, why are you drinking so much water, Susan? Because I'm doing Whole30 which is Whole Foods. I cannot have any Sprite. But I, hey, I've lost three and a half pounds, really 3.8 pounds, probably just from the fact that I'm not drinking water. And then I've grabbed just a little one that's this. And then this is one of those ribbons I got from the Dollar Tree, that good one the other day. This one and this one. Y'all, I threw it away. This one uh, and this one. This one looks just like a little bit of black, almost blue. Got a stripe in it and then just, but look at this little truck one. And I got this from Hobby Lobby and their spring collection. Little truck with little flowers on it. Okay, so let's see. I almost wanna put my little bow down like on one this corner. I don't wanna take away from there, so I'm thinking I can do I think I'm only going to be able to do two trucks. I think the other will just be too big. All right. And we're just going to do a good little messy bow. And the only thing about this, the ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree, that I'm dropping all over the floor, it doesn't have wire in it, which with this little is not too bad. I've got wire in the other one, but some people don't like wire in their messy bow. I do, because it kind of makes, I can manipulate them to, 
it to go where I want it to go. And maybe we'll cut this in half. It's just a burlap. It's got a little shiny in it. Just to kind of give it a little something, something. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna cut these in half. But this color, I wanted a lot in. This is that, remember I was like, Jean, Jean, you were like, denim, dummy. All right, and I've got a, whichever one. Okay, we'll let this be our starter. You could make three jingle blocks and glue on the raffia around them to look like bakes, bales of hay. What if I do them to look like nests? I know I had some raffia in here. I gotta figure out where on my cart I kept it. Y'all are so smart. Remember I said I was going to put some raffia in my bow. I'm telling you, couldn't do it without y'all ladies. I do not thank y'all every night for nothing. Like if I take some of this and put it, is that what y'all, okay, hold on. Let me get this bow out of the way and then we'll do that. That. Seeing you are a hoot. We love you. Oh my gosh, not as much as I love y'all. This is so fun. Oops, I look like bales of hay. Oops, to look like bales of hay. Yeah, but I'm thinking I really like the nest thing too. But we'll look. I have some little bales of hay. I have to go look at my supplies, but I do. In, in here, in yonder. Okay. I've been, we've been doing reads here lately. I'm, my first thing is to grab the pipe cleaner when I need to grab the string. Like it with the raffy in it, y'all. Look at all that. Look at all that hay. I think it's cute. Oh, that how to use the raffia I had that all over my floor giggle. Oh man, you, you, that's why why you think I was cutting it? Most people will, like pull it apart and try to like, I guess, keep it all. Mm -mm, I'm like cutting it. That moss gets everywhere too. It's really cute too, but Oops, and you can use this as part of your little, I don't see that, there it is, part of that too. But 
I like the little trucks. Ooh, and the way we cut it, you can see the little truck in it as far as like, you know, see it on the ribbon. Okay, let me make it look messy. Messy, messy, messy. I don't like it up top. Okay. I got a debate on that, where to put it. Okay. Let's see. I'm wondering if I can stick it through their legs. And just let it dangle down. Y'all, I, I, I need to be watching y'all. All right, let's see. Let's let this one go through here. And I like it, like, hanging all down, y'all. I know y'all probably gonna look at it and go, no. But I like it. I know, it's gonna get like that. Ooh, I can get on the blanket and get a hole. Y'all do not turn that heater on. I just turned the air conditioner on. Oh, you did? Okay, that's my girl. She said I just turned the air conditioner on. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking, okay, I have not glued it down yet, but I'm thinking this, but to cut it a little bit. And then maybe cut it, but still cut it uneven. Like, and then I can save the uneven -y. I mean the okay now about that I like it all right so This will be the, not tricky part, but I at least got to secure this so I'm, I'm not picking up this stuff all the time. But I think the way I put it in, the pieces, that I can do that to it. Put the longer pieces in it. I mean, and even though they're long pieces, they still can look all wrappy and messy if that's what you're going for. But if you do the longer pieces, then you won't um, picking it up. And next thing you know, you don't have any. I mean, you can still save the little pieces for any time you do something in. We should have put some of this in my truck last night. Maybe put one piece. Right. I mean, because all you got to do is get a little bit of glue just on the edge of this, and it's not going anywhere. So I'm putting a little bit at their feet, right in this little part. Okay. I like. I like and see it's still like say if like you put it somewhere and it's from behind see that's why i stained it everywhere so like if you walk behind it it's it's the back of it but yet you're not looking at you know things that seem unfinished okay let's see where we can put our bow y'all i really want to put my bow down here i don't think i think it do y'all think it takes away from it being up top I feel like the bottom is too plain if you put it up top. But see, if you put it down here, because I'm putting this bow on it, I don't, I don't care what I have to do. And then maybe like I said, you know, we can make a little bell or I can go get a bell of some kind. 
Oh, what I could probably do is I have two bags. Get another owl and maybe put an owl down there. Yeah, I'm gonna put it, I like it right here. So here we go. Decision made. I like it at the top, but I think I put the truck in it and I don't want the, the truck to take away from the little owl. We spent too much time making them cute. Bottom, I like it on the bottom, like it on the bottom, good. And you never know, I might have something I can sit beside it, like we make another little craft. Maybe put a candle right there or something like that. Remember when I was like, oh, isn't this cute? And I held it up and the, and the thing died. I mean, and it fell off. Sherry was with me when that happened, weren't you, Sherry? When I held it up and the piece fell off. All right, let me let that bow try just a couple more seconds and get this up. That'll be the only thing I have to like dump because everything's back in my little trays, y'all. These trays were probably the best crafting decision I've made in a long time. All right. And we have like a little area over here, but there's lots of little things that we can do over there. I'll think of something. I've been here a while. Yeah, Sherry, you were here that night. Remember I held it up and I went, oh, it's so cute. And the bow fell off of it. <laughs> Just in a rush. All right. All right. I hope y'all like it. So cute every time I love watching you. You're so sweet, Tracy. Thank you so much. A star at the top, yes. That would be so awesome. Yeah, I mean, really, I like the owl. I was just thinking barn, barn owls, you know. Um, especially since we had those little owls. Because I was like, you know, I'm not, there's so much spring you can do with butterflies and the ladybugs. But then I thought this is really cool. And, and I'm trying to make things that you can put in your house, you know, all the time. This would be really cute on a porch. Um for outside, really cute. Maybe you can put like a little bit of something right there and a bird on like a bird's nest out of it. Um, oh, thank you so much, Gloria. Thank you all for all the heart. Sorry it took me so long. We've only been on here a little under two hours. But we got the top of our um, lighthouse glued. And so I'm gonna glue the other piece on it since I already have my liquid nail out. And then that way by tomorrow it will be dry and we can spray paint the bottle. And then it's a matter of just, I really want to put it, I'll see if the wind is blowing tomorrow. I really want to put it outside so the light can charge so we can see that part. Um, um, yes, Debbie, you got to make one. Thank you so much, Rosemary. Remember, Rosemary just shared the link. Click on that link, become a member of Sands Crafter so you can post your crafts. I have not been on the go there on there in a couple days, but I bet y'all have got some amazing crafts on there. Straw bell with a little pitchfork. Sheila, yes. Um, yeah, we can put so much on this. And and once again, I, you know, I always tell you I'm so terrible at making crafts that we can do different things with different times of the year. Like you can put a little bell right here and you can stick a flag in it um, for the 4th of July. Um, you can have, you know, your little bale can be right here and you can put a little pumpkin on it for pumpkin. I'm really, really, I'm, I tend to steer away from crafts that I can use for different seasons. I don't know why, but I'm trying to get into that more. So the truck last night we could do is a little universal and especially the home sign that we made that we Buffalo check, we could put different things in there. So this is another one. We got a lot of little things right here. I mean, cause like I said, if you just put the hay bale there, you can put the, you know, stick a flag in it. You can, you can put a watermelon on it for um, the summer. You know, we, then we can do, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? A pumpkin. You can put like some kind of little turkey on it. Then you can stick a little Christmas tree in it. So uh, I like it. And I like that um, it's a few paint sticks. And cause really y'all, there is not, 
there is not but probably a dollar in here. Maybe two dollars if you like think of cutting the ribbon up. So, I'm glad. Milk can. Oh my gosh, milk can. Yes, that would be perfect. Um, yes, y'all, when it's a barn, it can be anything. Um, and I love it. I really do. <laughs> I'm so glad that y'all like it too. All right. I will see y'all. I'm not really sure what time tomorrow. Um, if Chris and I get to work in the yard, it may be regular time, but hopefully I'll be able to do a live, um, at Chris's parents and we'll make the, um, tobacco basket. Um, because I really do think that's something that y'all would like. Um, and it wasn't that hard. But I've got to right now go put the other bundle of reed in water. Because it says soak it overnight. I mean, I think I left mine in there for about a week. So you're really not limited on the time. But I do, that is like a big thing. Because it, it just moves like paper. And then it just, it, as soon as it, you, it starts drying out, it gets really hard again. So that is one thing. Do not let me forget everybody to tell. You have to soak it. Hobby Lobby has little milk cans. <coughs> <coughs> Rosemary, I plan on going to Hobby Lobby Monday. <coughs> um, I did not want to go before Easter because I did not want to buy any more stuff. I could not. Watch me going there. All kind of stuff would be on sale. So I really want to go Monday. So it will be after Easter and I will get some spring stuff. So I'll look for those little milk cans because that would be really, really cute. All right. Thanks so much. And I will see y'all tomorrow.